What is this timing today with Lilith Games and me scheduling out our video? Yes, if you guys have seen the earlier video, we were talking about if you should or should not be saving your diamonds right now because we should be having another rate up banner soon. And it just so happens Lilith Games put out a trailer for a brand new hero. Looks like she's coming in two to three more days. Pretty much the same time the rate up banner is disappearing. So who this hero kind of looks interesting she is a mage which is why we're like lorson's a mage wilders are missing a mage maybe it's gonna be a mage well it does look like it is mage but it is more of a summoner hero summoning a bunch of little uh fairies i forget what they actually called them fey maybe i'll have to see what they were but uh yeah this looks like a summoner hero summoners seem pretty strong in this game so she might be completely busted op hopefully you guys enjoy this one let's talk about this new hero So taking a look at this hero and this cinematic is really, really cool. At first, I was a little confused because I'm like, wait a minute. Are, are we getting like a little tiny kind of like Hewen type hero where they're really little, little, super little. But then like as the trailer went on and everything, we saw multiple of them kind of popping out of nowhere. And it's almost like Florabelle, which is the name of the hero, is more or less like the teacher mentor to these little sprite like creatures which is interesting uh because it does seem like she uses all three of these as her weapons <laughs> i know that sounds weird but legitimately it sounds like she is using or teaming up with these other uh sprite type beings and they are going to be her weapons because you can see one of them has like a big mallet type thing the other one has like a bow well she actually ends up using all three of them in combat one of them's like her basic another one's a passive that big one with the mace ends up being her ultimate skill uh so this is interesting so it's not necessarily just her she's the main character all the little ones are essentially like with Cecia and mr carlisle so this is really really interesting and uh the cinematics i must say are popping off i this one thing that's absolutely crazy good with afk journey so far are these cinematics they just are perfectly awesome i love everything about them and yeah so all four of these are technically the new hero so next up here is the kind of a skill showcase that they're showing us, the Florabelle gameplay showcase. So it shows what she looks like in game, kind of really cool cinematic right here, showing off her weapon, which I actually don't know what that weapon even is, and the three little ones that she is essentially gonna be summoning throughout the battle. So first off, skill overgrowth, she summons one tiny shoot, shoot, sharp, sharpshooter, uh, literally not very tiny behind her, sniping away, and then her ultimate skill Skill right here uh pounding blow this is where they th the two other ones throw the one in the mallet in the air and slams like the entire battlefield so honestly uh just at first glance <laughs> it looks really cool because this is a ton of different summons and this hero looks really cool april 16th yep that lines up perfectly so let's actually just pause the video and talk about the skills so far. So overgrowth almost seems like a buff type ability. And there's a couple buffs actually on one of the other little minions here. Uh, I, I don't, I think that's like a cooldown. And then I'm guessing this is a bloodlust type ability, meaning that she might have some sort of leech powers or something like that. But it does seem like overgrow might, overgrowth might be this buff that she's getting right there. And maybe that little icon above her head, because really that's the only thing we see going on in this battle. There's really nothing else going on here except for that buff going on the little minion which almost leads me to believe two of these little minions might always be on the battlefield potentially so we'll have to see how that turns out her next skill here is a tiny sharpshooter yet it makes the sharpshooter extremely tall and big and you can see she has the buff this time whereas the first time it almost seemed like that overgrowth ability was on the melee staff wielding one whereas now the buff is actually on the tiny sharpshooter who I guess is powerful they're not hitting for a ton but that ability right there she, she fires off like a ton of little missiles in the air and it hits multiple different targets which is interesting uh and the first part like we didn't see the main hero in the front doing much damage but that's like a that's a significant amount of damage potentially my guess is maybe only two targets get hit but let's talk about this ultimate so this ultimate right here she casts it instantly 
Like, it looks like the whole battlefield is kind of frozen during this animation, too, if we really just take a look. Look, the whole battle freezes. The other two port over to essentially what looks like the first tile right in front of your hero here. And then they throw up the third tiny sprite, and you can see this big old mallet pounding blow is about to happen. And it looks like it hits the entire battlefield while also knocking them either up or back. So let's see. This target over here ends up way over here. Uh, Thorin ends up just knocked down, but I think that might be due to his like revive effect. And then Brutus, Brutus just procs his shield. So maybe depending on how close you are, it'll either just knock the enemies down, knock them away. But either way, that it looks like it's an entire battlefield hit. I don't think we get to see the targeting of it, right? No, we didn't get to see the targeting as she activated, but it looks like it's it's almost the whole battlefield. It's a giant circle. It looks like as big of a circle as Smokey has when he's got his exclusive. And of course, yeah, battlefield strategy fights, like tactical missions must be really easy having all these additional uh, heroes. They're just not really highlighting anything here at all as far as the heroes go. Oh, but that was yeah that's just showing all the different tactical things that's the barrel is like trying to see if there's anything else with this hero but nah either way though this Florabelle hero kind of looks strong right like it seems pretty strong right there to have such a big aoe damage on top of everything she could be insane so again, the last part of this is purely speculation. We really don't know if it's going to happen, but it does seem like this hero might be going on this banner because she releases on the 13th, or sorry, it is the 13th, the 16th, which is two and a half days away. Uh, yeah, pretty much looks like at reset when this banner goes away, the new hero is coming to the game, which honestly just leads me to believe she will be on the banner. So once again, like we talked about a little earlier today, if you want to get all eight copies, you need another hero built up to Supreme. And beyond that, you're going to need a ton of diamonds and or these rate up invites. If you get the worst pity timer possible and you're only hitting uh, one copy every 40, that essentially means you need 96,000 of these diamonds up here or just a combination of things because remember this banner costs 3,000 to do a full pull compared to the all hero recruit they only cost 2,700 so we'll have to see because again this hero seems like she would be busted she does fit perfectly into our theory that we would get a wilder hero and then it would be a mage or a warrior it ended up being a mage so after that it looks like we are going to be getting either a rogue or a support hero in the graveborn faction right yeah that looks like that would be the next one after that so let me know what you guys think either way i think the wilders just got pretty wild and pretty overpowered with this hero we'll have to see how she turns out though you never know until you can test her skills out i think she's gonna be really strong hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time